All right, everybody. Now what we're going to go over is uh, some work from the clinch. In particular, we're going to go over uh, the lat drop throw. Um, so the clinch position, also known as the 50-50 position, is basically I have an overhook on one side, and then I have an underhook on the other side, and my opponent has the same exact position. He has an overhook on this side and an underhook on that side. So we're in the same exact position. You'll notice that our hips are back, our feet are back, and our knees are bent. Right, we're both we're both trying to stay safe here. We both want to keep our hips away from each other because we don't want to get thrown. All right, so this is a good safe 50-50 position. Now, for the lat chop throw, what I want to do is I want to use my opponent's momentum against him. So I want to get him to push into me. So in order to do that, I'm going to push him into him a little bit. Now, when doing this, you have to be careful. You don't want to push too hard or over push because then he may use the same move against you. So you got to kind of find delicate balance where you kind of give him a little nudge, you give him a little push, just enough to get him to push back into you. And the second you feel him push back into you, that's when you go. You use that momentum, and you time it right, and that's when you hit the move. So this is what it's going to look like. I have my 50-50, I'm going to push into June, he pushes back into me. As soon as he pushes back into me, what happens is, I take my, uh, my left foot, and the reason why I take my left foot is because that's the side I have my overhook on. 90% of the time, whenever you're hitting these throws, you're throwing towards the overhook side. The reason for that is, by throwing towards the overhook, you take away your opponent's post arm. So I have that arm trapped, now he can't post, he's gonna go right over the top. Okay, so I'm gonna be throwing him towards my left, again, because that's where I have my overhook. So I'm here, he, I push into June, he pushes into me, I step in between his leg, and I'm just falling backwards, and I'm, at the very last second, I'm gonna turn into my left. So I'm here, and notice, I never let go of this overhook, I secure my opponent, I secure my position, now I can work from the mat. We'll go over it again, nice and slow. I have my 50-50, right, I'm going to push into June, he's going to push back into me. I step in between his leg just to kind of remove my own leg from myself so it's not in my own way. As soon as I do that, I'm going to take my body backwards, I'm going straight back. The big mistake a lot of people make when they're hitting the latch up is they try to throw too early, they try to turn too early. But if I try to turn my opponent from standing up straight, he has a lot of power to defend me. So I don't want to do that. I want to let his momentum take me backwards, and just before my body hits the mat, that's when you turn. So you'll, pick, you'll see that I'm going to turn right before my back touches the mat. So we're here, I push it to June, he pushes back, and I just take him over the top. Thank you.